Hey guys, Mr. Happy here, and in this video, just a little announcement video that I'm doing. The Letter from the Producer Live Part 19 is going to be taking place at the Japanese Fan Festival on December 20th or 21st, depending on where you're living in the world. So uh, I just wanted to give you guys a quick overview on what things you can ask questions about, where you can go to ask questions, and where you're going to be able to watch the show. So, as I said, it's going to be taking place, depending on where you live, on either the, the 20th or the 21st. Uh, for those of us on, uh, oh, those of us in America, Canada, South America, it's actually happening at a good time because it's taking place in the morning in Japan. It's actually going to be 5:30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, just after work. Well, on Saturday, technically, you probably don't have work. Uh, or 8:30 p.m. Uh, for EST. You want to add five hours? That like 1:30 in the morning, 1:30, 2:30. I'm not sure with daylight savings for GMT. So uh, in this, is not going to be like the big announcements, like the new gun job. That's going to be the opening keynotes for the Japanese Fan Festival. This is going to have a preview of patch 2.5. We're going to learn about the Crystal Tower, the Gold Saucer. Soken is going to be there, and there's going to be a bunch of miscellaneous announcements. So one big thing I want to talk about. So take a peek in the newest dungeons. So we now know what the new hard modes are and what the new dungeon is going to be called. I have a lot of things to say about that that I'm not going to include in this video. So first, where can you watch it? They haven't given us a URL yet, but it is not going to be available on Twitch. It is only going to be available on Nico Nico. The audio is going to be Japanese only. There's not going to be a live translation like the North American and European fan festivals. The broadcast, as it says, will take place during the live stream for uh, the fan festival in Tokyo. And details on how to view the stream will become available in the next few days or week or so. Because it's coming up soon. we got to get it. Now, Nico Nico can sometimes be a problem to watch if you don't natively live in Japan or you don't understand Japanese. It can be difficult to navigate. Sometimes the quality isn't that great. That's just what I've heard. I've never used it myself personally. I will keep you guys updated on how to watch it, how to get the premium stream, all that stuff. But for now, we just got to wait for that information. Now, how to submit questions. You can do that on the official forums, on the official Final Fantasy XIV Twitter thread. As normal, we have a designated thread. You can click that by just going to that uh, link right there. Now, the themes for patch 2.5, we now know what dungeons we are going to be getting. Everyone was like, ah, oh, Total Rock, Gorm Vale, uh, it could be, it could be uh, Dark Hold, it could be Cutter's Cry. The four dungeons, the four not level 50 dungeons we have that don't have hard modes. Nope! We're going back to Amdapur Keep, and we're going back to Wanderer's Palace in the hard mode versions of those dungeons. We're also going to have a new dungeon, the Keeper of the Lake, which... For those of you who don't know, if you go out into Mordona, you'll see a giant dragon wrapped around a ship. That's the keeper of the lake. We are very likely, my prediction, going into the airship that he is wrapped around. I also predict it is most likely going to be a main story dungeon, just like Snowcloak was. Amptipore keep hard mode, there's a possibility we may see Diabolos again. Yoshi P recently did say Diabolos isn't dead. He just woke up, he was kind of weak, and he didn't actually die at the end of Lost City of Amdipore. So... Uh, we may see him again. Wanderer's Palace, I'm just glad to go back. I would love to see Tonberries. I'd like to start seeing Scholar and Summoner NPCs in the game. I We don't have any of those. None of them exist. I would love to start seeing, like, some enemies start to have fairies and pets that we can kill. But that's something that we're just going to have to wait and see. Looking forward to those dungeons. We also will be finishing the Crystal Tower. Looking forward to finding out how they're planning on distributing carbon twines and carbon coats when we get to the Crystal Tower. And the Gold Saucer... I think that's in the second half of 2.5. That's what they said before, unless it's been pushed ahead. A little worried about that one, because uh, I'm beginning to fear we may have booster packs on sale <laughs> on the cash shop. We're going to have to wait and see what ends up happening with Triple Triad. That's just speculation at this point. Don't take it seriously, but it's a solid concern of mine. Exploring patch 2.45, going to talk about it briefly. You know, the systems that were implemented, probably the new Zodiac quest, talking about the Eternal Bond system. I hope they talk about the cash shop items because it's going to be a big topic again there's no way they're going to be able to avoid talking about the eternal bond system on the cash shop and uh questions for soken soken's made a pretty big uh pretty important influence on people ever since the fan festival so uh i'm looking forward to this i'm going to have another video telling you guys what my questions are specifically for this live letter be sure to ask your questions on the official forum forums as well if you see a question you like be sure to upvote it as well so what do you guys think about aim to pour keep wonders palace Coming back with the hard modes, Keeper of the Lake, New Dungeon, the 
final part of the Crystal Tower, the Gold Saucer, mini games that we might have, as well as 2.45, which just came out today, the day of recording this video. Let me know in the comments section under the video below. Be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and share for more Final Fantasy XIV information, news guides, whatever. Also, I have some limited time shirts available for sale, just making sure people know about that. And, uh, well, until next time, guys, take care.